guys somebody some time ago predicted the demolition of this landmark uh, uh, resort it's one of the biggest in nigeria in west africa in the whole africa and it's an empire worth 250 million and uh, we already know it's owned by an evil man called paul Mm -hmm. we know we know but it, it doesn't really matter it's not the Igbo ownership that i am really concerned about it is the demolition of this whole empire it's not the whole that is being demolished though but the process has started they have kicked off the process of demolition part of it and a lot of people are going to lose their job man i'm heartbroken because i've been planning to visit landmark and right now look at what is happening i know that dave umahi the uh, minister for lands and works and uh, some wolu they already signed all this they know and even the president knows about it but why would they engage into this demolition right now because i don't see its importance demolishing it constructing this pool is a lot of money constructing all this makeshift whatever costs a lot of money and i don't even care about compensations what I care about is why would it be demolished? Can somebody just tell us why is this demolition process going on in Nigeria right now? Is that the most important thing to be done in Nigeria? Demolition, demolition, demolition. I am tired of talking about this demolition shit. Now, check this one out. This is a typical example of negligence yes instead of engaging in cleanups they are busy demolition you know businesses demolition multi-million businesses establishments and homes they are demolition check this one out now these are houses constructed under bridges illegally and those residing in it collectively are paying up to 250,000 naira a year Check it out now. This is something every state should be doing. Check around. Hmm? There are so many people who are homeless and you are not giving them homes. You are destroying the already constructed ones. Check it out. Check it out. Building on that bridge. How can a life, uh, how can somebody who is alive live under the bridge and pay rent? And you pay rent. I don't blame them. You know, Lagos State is uh, 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 overpopulated. People believe that once they come to Lagos State, they will make it. So they are ready to stay anywhere. Check out people now. They live under these bridges. Now they are getting destroyed. This one will not come to news. Yes, it will not go viral.